This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to resize an image without losing image quality using Final Cut Pro 10. Jeff asks, my current workflow with shooting interviews is to record them in 4K, then downsize it on an HD timeline, which is perfectly fine. When I want to punch in, go to a close-up, I change the spatial conform to none, then change the scale of the image. Recently, LumaForge posted a YouTube video where they just scaled it. Which is best? Actually, Jeff, your system is best, and here's why. All digital video is bitmapped. This means it's resolution dependent. If you scale an image above 100%, this damages the image quality because all you're doing when you scale above 100% is creating fat pixels. Scaling smaller than 100% is fine because the extra pixels in the image contribute to improving the quality of the smaller image. Let me illustrate what's going on. Here's the core thought. You don't want to scale your image larger than 100% because doing so damages quality. Always. All the time. Period. Let's go to Final Cut. I just happen to have a scaling project here, and in media, I have a 4K image of Earth. If we look at this over in the inspector, we can see that it's a 4096 by 2304. It's a slightly larger size 4K. 4K spans the range from uh, 3840 to 4096, depending upon how they're doing the math. I still ship a UHD image. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. So we're going to call this Jeff's Project. And I'm going to set this to 1080p. And I'm going to set it to 30 frames a second because that matches the frame rate of the video. Don't change the frame rate. It'll just make your life more complex. And click OK. What I did, you notice I had that checkerboard pattern here. What I did is I went up to Final Cut, went to Preferences, and under Playback, see where it says Player Background? I set it from black, which is the default, to checkerboard because I want you to be able to see the difference as I'm scaling Jeff's image because it's a dark image on a dark background. Okay, let's go back to Media, and we'll edit this into the timeline. And I've now edited this shot of Earth rotating, which is a 4K shot, into an HD timeline. How do I know it's an HD timeline? Select the timeline, look over at the inspector, and we can see that it's 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. So I've now scaled this image down. By default, when I select the clip and go to the video inspector, by default, notice that spatial conform is set to fit. It will always scale the image to fit inside the timeline. Because the timeline is set to HD, that means that it's going to scale larger images, 4K, down to HD. But what happens if I scale up? As Jeff pointed out, the LumaForge video, and LumaForge is a great company. This is just a stupid example because they shouldn't have done it. What LumaForge did is they just simply said, let's scale this up and make it bigger, which you can absolutely do. But look what's happened. I'm over 100%. This would indicate that I'm damaging image quality because as soon as you scale an image greater than 100%, it's going to create fat pixels. It's going to make it blurry. Well, we don't want that to happen. What we do instead is we set this from fit to none. What none does is it places the image at 100% size in the timeline. This tells me the absolute maximum that I can zoom into this image without damaging the image quality. Now, if I need it to fit, I can scale it back. And now you can see, that's why I have the checkerboard here. This shows me the limit that I can scale this back. So my image fills the frame right at about just a shade less than 50%. If this was shot at UHD, it'd be exactly 50%. So I have all this range from 48% to 100%, and Final Cut shows me by looking at what the scale percentage is, at what point I'm going to damage image quality and what point is safe. And that point is 100% or smaller is safe, and more than 100% creates fat pixels. So by definition... If spatial conform is set to fit, Final Cut scales the image 
to fit the frame, assuming that scale is set to 100%. Okay, now scales the image to fit the frame. If I want to zoom into the image and not damage image quality, set spatial conform to none, and then adjust the scale so that it is any number equal to or less than 100%. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 269. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.